Speed to market matters, so rewriting the same code or copy-pasting from another project can be an inefficient and error-prone process to standing up new projects. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write an NX workspace generator to create a service that connects to REST and touch on using TSMorph to help manipulate and update dependent TypeScript files. Norval's NX monorepo tool shifts with its own schematic to create a workspace generator. Workspace generators give developers the ability to scaffold and update code with a few commands. They are also great for pattern enforcement as components and dependent services can be created within one command. Within the NX Starter Mono repository, many workspace generators exist, including generators to scaffold full stack applications, create Angular forms and validations, as well as utilize Firebase collections within NGRX. Within the NX Starter Mono repository, open a terminal to create a new generator using the command NX g at normal workspace workspace generator and the name will be client side rest service open the tools generators client side rest service folder the generator created an index.ts file that will help create modified files in the workspace and a schema.json file the schema.json file defines the options a generator accepts what's required of those options and questions to prompt the user if they forget any of those options required by the generator. A couple of the areas you want to focus in the schema.json file is the properties and required keys. The properties keys each are named parameters you can pass along in your generator. If you require their parameter, I suggest adding an X prompt in the property key as this will ask the user to fill the value if they forget to add as an option when running the command. Further details on the schema can be found in the NX generator in the description. The required key in the schema.json defines an array of property keys defined earlier, of which are necessary to run the generator. After defining the schema, create an interface to mimic all the options of the schema. This allows for a well-defined type to be passed along to our generator. The generator's signature includes a tree of the current workspace's files and options defined in the schema. Using the schema interface, the options drive different configurations our generator will handle. In this instance, a name is given to the generator to create a REST data service, model, validator, and scaffolding for NGRX. If you're familiar with embedded JavaScript templating, aka EJS, or classic ASP with a JavaScript flavor, templating should be no problem. Normally, templated files exist in a files folder. To ignore TypeScript files from compilation in the generator, make sure to update your tsconfigtools.json file and add the glob pattern to the exclude array referencing the files folder with a TypeScript extension. The generator uses the generate files method out of the normal dev kit, accepting parameters for the tree, directory of the templated files, the output directory for those files, and an object for substitutions. The substitutions parameter utilizes the names method exposed out of the Norval dev kit, which returns an object with properties of name, that's camel cased, a class name, a property name, a constant name, which is uppercase and underscored, and a file name, which is lowercase and dasherized. The template's file name may also have replacement variables from the object properties. These are double underscored on the variable name. TS Morph equips developers to examine the abstract syntax tree of a TypeScript file. This enables developers to update their different files. For example, when a component is created using the Angular schematic, the component is then exported and declared in the closest Angular module. In this example, the REST data access service will be exported from a barreled index file. Contained in the NX monorepo starter, an update source files utility creates an in-memory project for tsmorph. In the method signature, the tree and file updates are provided. The file updates is of type record string and a delegate. The string references a file path to be updated, while the delegate runs a method to make changes to the source file. The abstract syntax tree can be a little tricky to understand, so I recommend hopping over to the AST viewer that can help find parts of the file you'd like to update. You can find a link to the AST viewer in the description. For this purpose, our goal is to export the service file from a barreled index file. 
to update, make a reference to the path of the barreled index file in the file updates variable, and add a delegate with a signature that accepts a source file. Here, the add export declaration method defines a module specifier, which is a relative path reference to the data access service. This will default to exporting everything from the reference source file. With the file updates object created, run the update source files method with the file updates. Each key of the object will be used as a reference in the tree to update. The file contents of the source file changes are written to the tree with the updates made. With everything in place, run the workspace generator via the command nx workspace generator client side rest service with the name profile. This will generate the templated files and update the index to yes. Free your developers to write their business logic. Find the same utilities and workspace generators mentioned in this video in the NX Monorepo starter found in the Gumroad link in the description.